guys welcome back to my channel my name is Nina Kimtanzi if you are new here please 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 subscribe and join our little family if you are a returning subscriber thank you so so much for your support and thank you so much for coming back to watch another video so in today's video I am going to be doing a mukbang um my very first ever and also I will be doing the my first time tag so if you are interested in that video do stick around <laughs> So, I am going to be having some wings. Um, I got these from Frangos. If you are from Ladysmith, then you know what Frangos is. And then I got, oh, <laughs> I got chips also from Frangos. Um, yeah. And then I got myself pizza. So, yeah. Um, I also have drink so let's get to it so I went on to my Instagram I'm actually so hungry oh my god I waited for this food for so long the pizza it took two hours guys I'm not even two hours two hours two hours for the pizza to get here so Okay. Yeah. Went to my Instagram. Asked you guys to drop your first time questions that you have for me. And some of them were a bit tricky, tricky. I'm just like. <laughs> some of y'all are really trying to get me this own. <laughs> mm. And they just people, he's. I don't get the hot ones. I don't like them. They're just too hot. Please don't come for me. <laughs> Anyways, the first question says, "Your first heartbreak and your first time doing the deed." <laughs> Imagine their first question, and that's what he says. Um, I think it's safe to say that I've never been heartbroken. Um. Yeah, oh my god, I feel so inexperienced. <laughs> I've never been heartbroken, and also, what did you guys? I'm young, I'm a child. I am a child. What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and then the second one says. Your first time doing business. So the question says, how did everything your business ETC start? So I'm guessing you wanna know about like the first time. Um my trips. Where am I gonna put them? Oh my tumble. Okay. I think you mean like the first time well guys ish. now you can ask the people i was in high school with i've been in this business thing gym for the longest time i used to sell chips guys at school <laughs> i used to sell chips at school yep me i used to sell chips at school i'm a snacks i'm a shram shram all of those things i was your girl so i mean like I've been and then with my other businesses like you know now the proper ones like my hair business and clothing I honestly just I started when last year early last year um I just told myself that you know what I knew I needed money and I honestly I'm the type of person who does I don't like asking for money from my parents like from my dad so I knew Woody like my allowance wasn't enough for me because i mean my dad is not a millionaire so he just gives me money so that i can buy food and just live by you know just okay so there's no extra things so i couldn't be like oh i want to go for lunch with what so for all those extra things that i needed and sometimes my allowance wouldn't even be enough for the things that i wanted so i was just like you know what girl work for it so that's how everything started and 
honestly i'm so passionate about hair i love hair <laughs> i love hair like every time i get money on my hair so jay yeah that's how everything started okay well let me take a thumbnail and then i'll come back with another question okay now now that that is done how now you can't even see the wings okay let's get back to the questions so the other question says um your first time sleeping over at base guys what do you want? Yo, this room is so good. What do you want from me? Huh? <laughs> Why, babe? Hmm? What's it, babe? Do you eat it? Is it like food? Is it nice like this? Hmm? No, no I don't know what a bay is. Hi? Mm -mm. Next question. <laughs> What's it? Getting drunk. Ah, oh, mm, okay. <laughs> I'm onto this one. But honestly, my first time getting drunk. Do I even remember? Oh! <laughs> Yay! How could I forget? Yeah! of the the metric farewell right shop so um, our metric dance was in september and i didn't go but one of my friends like my friends well almost all my friends went there and then but me and i went to sleep over at my other friend's house so that I could help her um with the preparations and everything so it was the night of the metric dance and then the following day we went out to like um a spa hi so we went to a spa it was a there was a pool party at the spa right excuse me so we went to the spa and then it was bad fast bad it was so nice and then we got them and we were like okay cool we need to buy the spa is like I go pick and pay, Ganje. If you guys know pick and pay, from if you're from Lady Smith, you know pick and pay center. The spa is that side. So sharp. We go to the spa and then we're like, okay, we need to get alcohol, obviously, and food. Sharp. We go to pick and pay. We walk to pick and pay. And guess what we get? Draw still off. After whatever you call it. Hey! Yo! Not sure if I'm not a wine girl. I really don't like wine. I <laughs> oh no, we're busy. I drank two glasses. I mean, I sure guys. I'm like, I'm I don't drink, drink so like, I'm trying to have the room, dad. Two glasses, and I was sitting down. Like when I'm sitting down, I don't feel that I'm drunk. Baby girl, now I, I wanna stand up and go to the bathroom. Yay! Guys, I almost fell into the pool because Nihamba Kaje Baba Like this guys. Mind you, my dad didn't know that I went to that place. So please, y'all please. <laughs> We got so drunk. Mm. I go to the bathroom. No, yeah. I go to the bathroom. I'm like, mm -mm. I need to. And then my friends follow me because like, I've been in the bathroom for so long, and they're like, yo, let's go check on her. They get them in the guys in the toilet. I'm trying to. And then one of my other friends, like my friend's friend, because it was three of us. She's like, 
just take it out bro like just guys i was so drunk i remember after like throwing up i got even more drunk i got even now it's time because it was getting late it's time to go and then my friend called her boyfriend at the time and she was like hey come and fetch us guys listen wang jelan jugu team is coming with the red car when i walked out of that bathroom i did not even i just looked for a red car guys hey that was so dangerous my friends are not even inside yet i walked into the car i sat down and the the booty baba like this like this like i couldn't see anything anything and then we we left now the place we get to my 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 friend's place because being little boo like the weekend was there guys let me tell you that hypo 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 i got there like spit my camcha yin 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 i'm supposed to next i just threw myself on the bed and the plan was to go out later that night because there's this place that mina mina I, i was not the girl who goes out so i was like yo i really want to go to this place yeah but now you guys have been raving about it so i want to see it did i did i i was like i'm not going anywhere please i'm undaisy i slept my friend went all alone yeah <laughs> yes on that day guys that was the first time i got so drunk and like yo mm -mm, mm -mm. and i remember when the guy dropped us off now obviously i need to you know she a sound because the parents how we have to respect so he left us like maybe three houses down did i'm not going to that house <laughs> and then my parents are oh yeah happy and then i turn around i'm like oh shit guys that day was messed up Yeah, no, it was messed. Hi, the next one says the first time meeting your boyfriend. What boyfriend? Now I'm a child of God. I, mm, I don't date. I don't do anything. Mm -mm. Huh? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This. Mm -mm. My face is getting cold. Okay. Mm -mm. How do YouTubers do this? Yo. Okay. First time in a relationship. What relationship? Hmm? Friendship, him. Father daughter relationship. Ah, uh, that's the only relationship I have and it's the most amazing one. Um, father daughter. Hey, yeah. What was your first time in Joburg like? Yo! Guys, you know Joburg baba. First life, we almost got robbed. almost so when i left her right i left with my dad and my sister because my dad didn't want to drive he left the car and he took a taxi shop okay we go to joburg ah, long a long drive yeah it was so long and then when we got there you know most it takes him it's your one rush guys um so i figure one rush him and then you know lama parla and obviously we don't know the place nobody knows the place so this para guy was like okay cool i'll take you to where you guys wanna go I'm just like okay, because we're in town now. So now my taxi is up here. Yeah, boy. He's like okay, shop no. I'll take you to to those taxis. Mm. Hi, yeah, guys. We were walking here for so long. Hmm. Well, not too long, only like ten minutes. And then this guy, he is rushing, guys. Up, I'm going to like. And it's killing me. Some man who go to go be just like hey, boy. And my child casually say hey, boy. When dot, musu share ngai kape. And then, yeah, but I was going to go check it. I bought a phone case to buy new. Hi. And then, we found ourselves at MTN Rank. 
now I didn't even know it was MTN at that time. And then Shruti, the security, there was a security at MTN. And then he's like, I don't know, Shruti, he, he recognized the Lee Paro or something. He's like, yeah, why? Nobody's a problem. And then he's like, no, but for my text, I have a good boob. And then he's like, Mother, my text, I have a good boob. And then he's like, oh, I can't have a good boob. And then he's like, oh, I can't have a good boob. And then he's like, oh, you just, like, oh, just told the security most. And then we tell him, and then he's like, why? Ah, I'm going to buy um, Alex. Alex, see? Yo! And then the security was like, hey, put up when I'm going to buy lab. And then what's cap again? Oh no! Well, the same guy was cap and then was being my taxi and like, well, let's see a corner of the end. What's it? 20 rands! My dad gave him 10 rands. Excuse me. Yeah, that was my first time in Joburg. And. Honestly, other than that bad champ, guys, no, I wasn't homesick because that weekend I slept at family. So I went to Soweto. I left my things at my new place and then I went to Soweto um, to family and spent the whole weekend there. So it really wasn't that bad. And my sister still was with me for the whole weekend. She left, I think, on Monday and my dad left the same day, but it really wasn't that bad. Um, um Sex. And then she says, I know you expected this from me. I, I knew better. My friend, I must tell me, you know, now I don't do those things. <laughs> mm, guys, I know. Mm -mm -mm. And the next one says, How did you feel the first time you lost weight? Yo, guys, yo, my confidence was at its peak. Shame, honestly. Yo, I was so happy. Um, so. Got to Joburg, obviously, and then you know, almost I'm living alone. Um, I come from a very small town, and also like home day at home, like takeaways were not a norm. It was a hmm, once in a while thing, guys. Yo, unless I buy them myself with my own money, and takeaways are expensive, so shame I didn't have that luxury when I was still at home. Got to Joburg, every and also ladies made restaurants or so far, and some of them don't even deliver, so you have to go to town in order to access a restaurant. Huh? Now, Joburg, Mr. D Food, Uber Eats, Mr. Delivery, yay, everything, 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 everything. I'm just like, how am I, guys? I gained so much weight because I was just eating takeouts and like unhealthy eating. And all of that, so it was, yo, it was a lot. And then last year, um, um, around February, I was like, you know what? I'm joining the gym. This, this is not the life. Like, I, I hate my body right now. So, I the gym, started eating healthy, and yo, I lost so much weight. I think I lost, I lost 10 kgs in like three months. Yo. I lost a whole lot of weight and I was so happy with my progress <clears throat> and then I maintained that weight until around December then December I came home here yeah. and you know at home was you can't really maintain a healthy lifestyle it's to me shame it's almost impossible I started eating I'm a papa I'm a purchase I'm a cabbage I'm a yini 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 tambu yini yini and you know December treats hella ah, so I'm practically at the same. I'm wearing this almost the same as I was when I started off, but trust me, I am going to give my body back. Shame, mm -mm, I'm tired. No. Okay. Next question. Mm. First time going out of the province or country. I have never been out of the country um but one day as one day i'll take myself out of the country putting it out there when it's um first time out of the province was when i'm from kzn right and 
I study in Joburg, so you know, Gauteng. So that was the first time ever I went out of the province, and those are the only two provinces that I've been to. Um, Kuala I mean, I was born in KZN, so I've only been to Joburg. And that, oh, actually, it wasn't the first time then. It was, and I was still young because we had family, so. You know, my name is B and such things, then I'd go. Um, yeah, I think I was, first time I was probably, I was probably four or five, because my mom was still alive. So I was probably around four or five. And I remember I was so excited because I was going to Joburg. I mean, so yeah it was actually shame it was very nice um and you know when you're still a child guys you 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 are you just got in jay i'm a circle yo everything is just so amazing anyways mm. i just i said double extra cheese I, it's nice, but I mean, like, honestly, I've never ordered that double extra cheese. Okay, I can see there's a thick layer of cheese, but like, I, it's because it's not hot. First time it's not out, never done it. Never even dreamed of doing it because my dad. <laughs> Guys, my dad is strict. Yo! I don't even dream of doing those things because I know I'd die, Shane. Mm, it'd kill me. It would kill me. First time getting drunk, or you answer that. First time you wore a wig, yeah. First time I wore a wig, it was a wig I made myself. And <laughs> I didn't have a wig cap, so I made it with a beanie. <laughs> it wasn't even my beanie, yeah. So one of my friends at school borrowed me. I, I think she probably gonna remember this now that I'm telling this story. Um, she borrowed me, she borrowed me her beanie, and then I think she forgot about it, and it was with me for so long. And then I was like, I was so spontaneous one day. I was like, I didn't even buy the hair because I didn't even have money to buy the hair. So my aunt had this hair on, and my aunt she, she's the type. Who doesn't stay with here for a long time she i think she had it for like a week and she was like take this thing off me i was like ah this thing's still nice i took it and i said plastic in him and then i made a wig with a beanie and it was so nice <laughs> it was so nice but it was hot yeah, it was hot and then later on i bought a wig cap and i got from the beanie and made it again and i still do i still have that wig i still do Oh, I gave it away. I don't know. Why oh, I threw it away. I don't know. Because, like, I mean, it was those cheap hair pieces. So, like, they cabana. But, shame, it was nice. I was rocking it. Mm. First time wearing makeup. I think. First time I wore makeup. Um, <clears throat> yo, know, I was probably like, it wasn't like proper makeup, but like, yeah, in high school, somewhere, you know, guys, powder, lipstick, you done when you're going somewhere. But the very first, very first time, I like, I did like a face beat, not like, but like, you know, foundation, powder eyeshadow was first year we were going out with my friends <laughs> and it was so nice yo for the first time i couldn't draw my eyebrows my friends would be like this she you draw we fix i was the only one <clears throat> who used to like not make no we're all not the only one the two of us mm. never used to do makeup I mean, mm, first beauty product you bought is probably a lipstick from a chinese store probably and probably a uniflex ladies with people you know uniflex i probably bought lipstick from uniflex which was probably 10 rand or something 
um then <clears throat> the last one says buying your first wig um i'm assuming like also like proper proper hair like you know good hair um it was the one that got snatched girl <laughs> With the one that I snatched in Jawbreak CBD, yo guys, I saved up for so many months for that hair, and then they stole it. Like the very first wig I got for myself, I was like, I'm going all out, frontal Brazilian, and I don't know, no synthetic hair, urban, never. <laughs> because I, I really liked him, and I always see people. Laying the wigs, I didn't even know how I was gonna cut the lace, how I was gonna, yo. Yeah. But luckily, I didn't mess it up. Shame, like, yo, that wig was so nice. It was so nice, guys. Shame, but anyways, they stole it. Huh? Like, I'm not gonna finish this wig. Let me just finish this and then come to close this video off because. I'm done with the questions and I'm full now. Shame, these rings are nice, guys. They're really nice, but they are they're expensive. Are they? Mm -mm. No, I'm lying. Mm -mm. They're not. Okay, we're done. Excuse me. I'm gonna have this for dinner later on because it's lunch time now so yeah guys that is it for me i hope you did enjoy this video if you did like it please don't give it up don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up don't forget to comment you know which one was your favorite part of the video and also please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't please 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 please, please subscribe We're on the road to 600 subscribers now actually road to 1k what road to 1k because we excuse me we're on 500 subscribers now so yeah thank you so so much for watching i'll see you on my next one bye